guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Danny here and I want to welcome you to a life with Danny Lee I am if you are new here thank you for joining me make sure you hit that subscribe button also make sure you like and comment share this video tell your auntie uncle friend twice removed sister-in-law all of that and above to come check me out because we live over here baby and if you're not new hey boo boo how you doing thanks for coming back and in today's video i am doing just a little bit of a life update i know i done did so many life updates probably within my history of youtube but <laughs> um i'm trying to be more consistent as i say on every video it is very 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 difficult when it comes to all kind of parameters with staying consistent on YouTube and having a nine to five and being the mom of an autistic toddler and um, all of that and trying to manage a business as well. And if you don't know, I am your girl CEO, uh, marketing, uh, marketing um, CEO, boss, creator, all of that jazz of Danny Lee Glam Tea. If you don't know, click the link down below check out the website right now we do have some things that is going on and some new products in um, I'm getting that website relaunched uh, with some new products so click that link down below and go shop honey um, but I did want to come on here I made a video prior to this um, that is in storage but I'm probably going to delete that one and just use this one instead um, because there was some updates since that video that I just wanted to go ahead and let you know as well so I didn't want to post that video and it's been updates since then as well but how you guys doing I miss talking to the camera I miss talking to you and if you want to know your girl is no longer on a cell phone recording content I have a Sony ZV-F1 video camera honey and when I say if you can tell the difference with the quality let me know because honey I love it and I have you guys sitting right in front of me I'm currently at work right now at my regular nine to five um, I'm doing like a special project or assistant agent so I'm not currently on the phone and so I have time to talk to you guys um, because I can chat with them to help them. So that's why I'm able to talk with you guys. But um, as a matter of fact, let me just take this off so I can hear myself. I don't know if I'm yelling or whatnot, but I look a little decent today um, because I attempted to try to curl my hair or flat iron it because I had an interview yesterday within the company I'm at right now. Um, but as you can tell, no more locks. <laughs> your your girl is lock free. I did cut my locks out. Well, I actually combed them out and then I cut my hair. But as you can see, I cut it short and I actually put a relaxer on there as well. So no more Team Natural. I had to go relaxer because it's not as straight as I would like it to be when my hair is natural. Um, and right now it does need a touch up because it's been a minute. But that's neither here nor there. Some of the updates that I did um, want to go ahead and inform you guys. We were supposed to be moving um, from this apartment. Um, right now I'm still in the same apartment that the last few videos was on with the apartment tour and everything like that. So we, we are still here. We are coming up on two years in September um, and we don't plan on renewing the lease. But we were going to break the lease and move out um, like this month. Um, but it didn't go through as planned so we're staying we're staying we're gonna stick it out um, until the end of the lease and then we'll go ahead and decide to move um, another update is Danny Lee Glam Teak is opening up as I mentioned before it's back open or it will be back open um, I'm going to get this video uploaded by the end of this weekend so that I can start uploading my entrepreneurial videos that I've already been recording for you guys. So I want to get this up first. So Danny Lee Glam Teak is opening back on May 27th, which is Memorial Day 2024. So once you go ahead and get to this video you want to make sure to click that link down below so you can sign up for our email subscriber list and that way you can be notified of um of any new releases that come any discounts that you might get or anything like that you want to be in the loop for so make sure you sign up for that email subscriber list um 
and so yeah that's going to be May 27th of 2024 that we're going to open up or reopen the store online um some more updates i did mention in one of the entrepreneur videos that if everything had and if i do look to the side i'm looking at the viewfinder and myself so um i do apologize in advance but um i did mention that if things went the way they were supposed to be i was going to have some very good good news and it was going to be a whole separate video on that i had high hopes Ugh, don't mind my nail side note this came off but it's almost time for me to take this off these are some press-ons that i actually created and as you can see most well not most of them but some of the rhinestones came off on this one see the rhinestones came off but the other ones they stayed on but i didn't have these on for about two weeks or so so it's time for them to come off but anywho um yeah so that didn't fall through the good news that i did have i was so so what's the word i'm looking for i really thought that i had it <laughs> and i don't want to really speak on it because it might still happen in the future and i might still update you guys but as of right now i i didn't get it um it was for me to be a store a store owner of a particular branch um and it was going to be my actual store so it was going to be my business running it hiring employees things like that running it on my own and receiving percentage of sales for the store so um it didn't fall through only because my credit was about this this much short of the threshold that they were looking for so I'm in the process of actually getting that started or getting that worked on so that it possibly will be in the future or in a few months uh, maybe something else will come up but in the meantime I am currently still working my regular nine to five um, I am enjoying it but I'm ready to move to different areas within the company um, rather quicker than later um sooner than later or whatnot so as i mentioned earlier i did have an interview yesterday within the company and i haven't gotten a decision just yet but we but it was a very very good interview and it is for a different um department within the company so it is going to be a decision that i do have to think of because i do have baby boy that is current i currently work at home full time we go to the office maybe once a month with the current position that i have now and that once a month usually works out with me and his dad um with us making sure somebody's home with him that day um it's usually on his off day or something like that so with the new position it is going to require me to go into the office three days out of the week instead of just once a month so it's going to hinder a little because um he, right now he is in school for another two and a half weeks but he will have to be here and it's just me and his dad um that basically handles everything with him and we take care of him and things like that so we don't really have anyone outside that will be able to um partner with us to take him to school or babysit him and things like that plus we don't just trust any and everybody the people that we do trust they all got jobs and stuff like that so they don't have the opportunity or availability to do that for him so i don't know if i might have to turn that down and i really really don't want to but that's neither here nor there either um other than that i know i've spoken the last since the move and the um since the move and the tour you already you guys already happen to know about my grandmother passing i believe i spoke on it before because i was in the old apartment when she passed my auntie which is her um i can't remember if it's the youngest or baby middle daughter i think it's the middle daughter because i think my mom was the youngest but um she ended up passing away maybe about i wouldn't even say six months later maybe close to six months almost later and so i think we were already here um we were already here in this apartment when my aunt passed so yeah it's been a whirlwind of experience with us we've been through so much and we're just um steady keeping keeping the faith um and just moving forward because that's all you can do is just move forward because eventually everything will work out in the end but other than that life has been awesome 
and you know um things has been awesome with us i have been um really wanting to get down um into uh relaunching my business and getting that back up and running and continuing on with that that is a passion of mine and then like i said another business um business venture is to of course break out from my current nine to five um and have my own but um until then it's going to be here uh, until i am able to say hey i'm about to quit and of course you guys will be on the journey with me but right now um the channel is probably going to be a be oh, i'm supposed to be clocked off hold on guys okay I have uh, successfully logged off and ended my day. Now I'm just shutting down the computer and everything. But um, that part probably will be sped up. But anyways, everything else is pretty much good. There's not too much to update. Um, I'm thinking about doing my, of course my channel is gonna have entrepreneurial videos and series and things like that in there. But I do wanna kind of get into my personal life as well. I don't know if I have racked up the courage to take this camera out in public yet and do vlogs and stuff like that of like my regular life um and things like that but um that might be something that i want to do um and then also i was thinking of maybe a few story times so if you guys want to hear some story times of me i i have a few things that i can talk about and get deep into my life because honey there are some things that i've been through that should be in a book okay or on a movie or something and honey i'm, I'm really like this close to end up like publishing my own book or something about my life because honey i have been through some things and i know everybody have been through some things but i've been through some things and you would not tell it from looking at me that i've been through them <laughs> but i have and I would like to share if you guys would want to know some of those stories. Um, I can do a story time of, I don't know, it's a, it's, it's a numerous of things that I probably can do a story time on. And if you guys like story time, then comment down below. Yes, honey, bring on the story times. And then I will start doing polls on my social media like Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you, you uh, click that link down below or follow that link down below i'm gonna leave my personal and business instagram information also my business tiktok information down below so if you are not following me you need to click on it and go follow so you can be updated because things will probably be uploaded there before a youtube video comes so go ahead and do that um but if you guys want story time be like yes girl yes hunty do story times boo boo comment that down below and i'll start doing a poll as far as which story time would y'all like to hear first so other than that um the update with baby boy he is currently three years old he will be four this year november 22nd i cannot believe it is four years already that i've had this little boy and i love him to death and cannot um ask for the greatest gift in the world to be a mother um a second time around he is awesome he he currently is still on the waiting list for um the autism spectrum evaluation um i think i mentioned that in the other video that i was going to upload as far as a life update because i don't think you guys actually are aware of it but yes he has been he hasn't been physically or me, uh, medically diagnosed with autism but he does have a speech delay and a few uh learning delay curves to where he's currently in early special education at um an elementary school here in katie and he did start off with the tyke program because he was um uh, like a younger toddler age um and so they started off because he got recommended by his daycare teacher um when they noticed he was a bit behind on everything um and so they did recommend it 
so we did go ahead and go through project type with um, going to like speech therapy he had um, group therapy and things like that to help and then once he turned three years old he graduated over to the school district system and is in the early special education program with the uh, school district so that's where he's at right now um, currently towards the end of the school year uh, like I said they have about two and a half more weeks left of school we'll have like an art meeting towards the end of the school year to let us know how he's progressed I can say that he has done a lot better with his speech we thought he was going to be nonverbal, but he's not he he does talk he just not saying full blown conversational type sentences as a three-year-old usually is um he is saying things like he is saying more things like mommy help please or thank you or um help me and things like that like two word type of conversations or responses and things like that um that's what he's doing he knows his letters now so he does say the alphabet all the way through and he also says his numbers up to 10 he tries 11 12 13 14 but he doesn't got all the way to 20 just yet and he can count backwards from 10 um so he does those very well and that's something that he didn't do if at all and so the program and the school has really helped and I can really tell the difference in it and I'm very greatly appreciated for his uh, daycare teachers to recommend it and to get us started early with getting him on the right path and getting him all the help that he needs because eventually he could be just a, a learning disability where he's just a little bit behind and then he can actually grow out of that he's not a very strong autistic person because he he um he does understand very he does understand um but some things is just very delayed for him and um so he can actually with the right therapy and all of that can grow out of it so i'm, I'm appreciative of that and glad i'm able to get the help that i am able to get at an early stage on so yeah kudos to the katie independent school district because that's what he's at <laughs> i don't think we would get the same type of um results with like hisd and things like that so i'm really appreciative of, the, of them but um other than that um that's the update with him and um as far as that goes i've been doing good me and my man been doing good you know we still in here locked and loaded four years down this july yeah this july i always get june and july mixed up but it was july so this july will be four years locked in and still here running strong baby that's my man my man my man honey <laughs> no but for real uh we're doing good um life is just awesome and i can't complain but i know i've been on here rambling let me see almost 19 well 20 minutes now it's 1907 but um i'm that's just my update it's nothing too extravagant but i did want to kind of come in and fill in the gaps a little bit um if you guys have any questions feel free to ask them down below and i can get them answered in the next video for you guys the next videos are already recorded because they were entrepreneur videos that i've actually made within this past week and the week before like within the last three two to three weeks so those will probably be the next videos that you see uploaded after this one but still leave your comments leave your questions down below i'll go ahead and answer them maybe i can do a q a so if you are interested in the Q&A, go ahead and leave those comments and those questions down below and I'll gather them all up. If you want to go to my social media and leave the questions as well, feel free to do that. I can make a poll and see if you want to do a Q&A and then get questions answered and we can do another sit down where I can have my wine because right now I don't have anything to sip on and usually i have like a wine or something honey so the next video the next sit down video we're gonna have some wine and we're gonna just sit down and i'm gonna answer you guys' questions or concerns or anything and yeah just let it all out but other than that if you've come to the end of this video honey make sure you tell your auntie uncle cousin daddy sister mother on the other side to come check me out because i'm lit over here it's danny and then make sure you like comment subscribe 
and turn those post notifications on so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Peace.